Pregnancy. It's an exciting time. The fun part is thinking, oh, we'll have a child that will be able to grow up and experience all of these amazing things that can be experienced on the farm. It can also be a stressful time. With that stress, good stress or bad stress, unfortunately, can bring on some mental health and behavioral health issues. That's a little bit of things that usually are not talked about and or addressed in any setting, but definitely not in agriculture. And that's something that needs to be talked about more. Jessica Wilburn works with North Carolina Agro-Medicine Institute. She's a nurse practitioner. She's also a farmer, raising cattle with her husband in Randolph County. And she does all that while planning for the arrival of their first child. Uh, when she arrives, it's going to be a very busy time for us. You know, we sell bulls. We have a, a sale every year. She's very close to that time period. We also are getting ready to do breeding at that exact time. So there's lots of moving parts and pieces that we have to be mindful of. She's also mindful of what it takes to have a fit and healthy pregnancy. Weight limitations, you have to be mindful of the changes that your body will go through with pregnancy. You have to be mindful of different exposures that you will have. So it may be medications, it may be things that we use such as fly tags or dewormers. I can't lift 30 pound buckets of feed. I can't chase after the cows, I don't want to fall. Because <laughs> um, slips and trips and falls is one of the leading causes of injury in agricultural in general. Limitations are tough for women who feel they can do it all. The biggest thing would be is having to let go and ask for help. Even though I've still been very active, I've still been doing a lot of the things that I normally do, it's just some of the heavier lifting I just am not doing and so by being able to have to step back and ask for help, can you lift this crate of cucumbers? Can you lift this crate of squash? Johnston County produce farmer and mom-to-be Michelle Davis is adapting to a new change of pace. Stopping, resting and not overdoing it as well, especially on a Saturday when we're dealing with lots of customers. It's a busy day of stock in the stand. I'm helping customers. I'm busy and all over everywhere. And, but then also taking a minute to drink water, use the bathroom, eat something, and just take a minute just to, just to rest. Taking time after the baby comes is equally important. Making sure we've got hired help to be able to do some of the duties that I have been doing and being able to have someone fill in my place. And as a farm is stuff still happens, things go on and stuff has to get done, but then also making sure to take time for yourself and to heal. Eventually, moms return to the farm and often with their children in tow. That begins a whole new level of safety precautions. I don't want them to live in fear of being on the farm at all times because this is their home. I want them to feel comfortable and safe, um, but I also want them to learn that this is, you know, not a, necessarily a playground for every, every day. <laughs> Amy Porter is raising her four kids alongside her husband's siblings and their six children at Porter Farms, a livestock operation in Cabarrus County. We've taught them early on, you know, you're always making sure you're supervised, that there's an adult around, that you're not just going off and wandering off. With our pig operation, they know we can't just go into those, you know, pig buildings. We have to shower in, shower out. Same with the chickens. We don't just want them venturing into the chicken houses. If you're in the tractor, you're listening, you're not touching anything you're not supposed to be touching. We don't go near the electric fences. So things like that, we've taught them early on that fence is hot from like a young age, hot, hot. <laughs> the porters also do agritourism, which means frequent guests. But they know to look, they know to hear and listen for people coming in, people going, tractors, equipment. They're always kind of paying attention to that because there could be somebody coming in that doesn't know that there's children nearby playing outside. With so many kids and so much going on, Porter says mental health is a priority. We go to the lake, we go to the beach, we take vacations where we literally get off the farm and check out for the day or the week even. We built a gym on our property on Porter Farms um, during COVID. We all kind of get together at different times throughout the day where we do workouts together. Um, and so we're talking about things that are happening with our family, our farm, 
just having a good time, but we're also exercising. And to me, that's a personal big thing to have um, mental health in check. It just makes me feel a whole lot better if I'm moving my body as much as possible every day. It also helps to have so much family support. We're just constantly looking out for anybody and what they're doing. We don't have like our own children, we just have 10 of everybody's children. It's always just an opportunity to make sure we're being safe and making sure everybody is happy and having a healthy, fun life on the farm.